Hey guys, welcome back to another Build Your Own PC video. In this episode, I'm going to do the $900 all-around PC. Okay, so starting off with the CPU selections. For the AMD side, I have went with the AMD FX 8320. Now you may be having a question mark over your head about this, but why did I go with the 8320? The reason why? Slightly lower price, so we can put more money into the graphics card. Simple as that. And it also has very good overclocker potential, so you can basically achieve the same performance as the 8350 with a small overclock. And the speed of the 8320 is 3.5 GHz. Now, for the Intel side, I have went with the Intel Core i5-3570K. The reason why I went with this CPU is because of its excellent performance and also very popular. Now, for the graphics cards, I have went for the Sapphire Radeon HD 7870 XT. Now, I have heard this card was a very good bang for the buck and was quite a bit faster than the original 7870. So, if people want to go ahead and leave video responses for that, please feel free. For the NVIDIA option, I have chosen the Sparkle GTX 660 Ti. The reason why I went with this is because it's also a very popular card and also offers a very good bang for the buck. Now, let's get on to the motherboards that I have selected. For the Intel option, I went with the ASRAC Z77 Pro 3. The reason why I went with this is because it has an all-around good bang for the buck and also has some features like USB 3.0, SATA 6, gigabit per second, and all that. For the AMD option, I have went with the ASRAC 970 Extreme 4. Basically, it's almost the same thing as the Z77 Pro 3, but it was built for AMD. Turn it on the 970 chipset. Alright, now that we got the main parts out of the way, let's get going with the rest of the build. So, the CPU cooler I have selected is the Zimitech Dark Knight SD1283 Nighthawk Edition. Now, the reason why I wanted this CPU cooler was because from what I looked at from the pictures, it looked very cool and will match with just about most systems, if you go with the black theme, that is. And it also offers extremely good cooling from what I have watched from the video reviews of this product. Now, for the memory, I went with the G-Skull Ripjaws X series 8GB dual channel kit. This kit is rated at 2133 MHz with a cast latency of 11. So you'll be sacrificing some cast latency for the extra speed, but you could probably tighten those timings down if you're really good at it. For the hard drive, I went with the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 7200 RPM hard drive. Now this is a very good hard drive for the price point of about roughly 68 bucks, And it also has 64 megabytes of cache. So that should give you the extra speed that you might need. For the case, I want the NZXT Source 220. It has decent features, has USB 3.0 with the header instead of the extra the plug-in that you plug in to the back, which will just kill a USB port in the back. And it just has decent airflow and all that and looks simple. For the power supply, I decided to go with a Corsair Builder Series 500 watt power supply. And it is A plus bronze certified. So that means you'll be getting the extra efficiency, which will help keep your power bill down a little ways. And for the optical drive, I just grabbed the Lanon IHOS 124-04 DVD burner. And this should be able to meet all you need and all that. Alright, let's get wrapped up with the prices and all that. All the prices will be including the rebates, discounts, shipping, and also taxes. So, with the Intel slash NVIDIA build, it was $878.88. For the AMD slash AMD build, is $817.50. For the Intel slash AMD graphics card, was $859.62. And for the AMD with NVIDIA graphics card, it was $837.49. But also, keep in mind that the prices of everything will change over time, so the accuracy will not be consistent. So if you enjoyed this video, please send me an email on different types of ideas you want me to do. Eh, crap. I, I hope this video has helped you out in many ways. 
I am more than happy to do these videos more often as I get the time open. But now that I have some time available this month, I will be able to produce more videos like these. So please keep up to date with all my videos by subscribing to this YouTube channel, which is in down below, and also rate this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments, or feel free to email me at scullabyss at gmail.com. And I also have a Twitter and Google+. My Twitter is Scullabyss. O C, and my Google Plus is Scolabus, as you can tell. But anyway, I am more than happy to do these videos. And for those who are saying thank you, you're welcome. Have a good night.